Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Harstam Zerg Adventures. Today we uh, have Kaz as our first opponent, a 6k Terran player. Someone that often gives me trouble when I play against him with my Protoss. So, um, surely this is going to be a, a rather tricky game. Sometimes you meet people when they're at their lowest MMR, you know? They're at their absolute lowest point, and I think that's the case here. Kaz usually is around... Uh, I think 6-2, 6-3. On a very good day, he might even make 6-4. And on the worst days, um, well, very rarely, but every now and then, he does dip below uh, 6k MMR. That seems to have happened now. That means I'm not going to be getting too many points when I inevitably do beat him, because I'm planning on winning this game, that's for sure. I've been playing a little bit of Zerg again lately. Um, I've been having a very good time with it as well. I'm brushing up some of my build orders. It's been, you know, it's feel, feeling all right overall in in most matchups, um, even in CBC, which is rare. So uh, we're going to uh, just play pretty standard, rush out a lair. At least that's the the general plan for me usually. And um, after I get my lair, get my baneling speed, my extra upgrades as well. And we kind of take it from there, see what happens. You know, you don't want to plan too much, of course, because I do need to respond to what my opponent is doing. And that can be rather tricky at times. Uh, because my well, my scouting is one of my definitely one of the weak points that, that I have. Um I need to build an overlord over here. Overlord spread is important. I don't want to send this out quite yet in case it's some type of bunker rush. Doesn't quite seem to be the case, but if it is, then you don't want to have that... Oh my god, I built one too many queens. But you don't want to have that Overlord halfway across the map already, because then the first Marines are just going to be taking it out. That's not great. Oh! I don't think he can actually catch that, can he? Doesn't quite seem to be the case. I'm just going to send these across the map, though. I'll get my speed first as well. Not entirely sure what this is, but it seems to me like it's going to be... Um, Marine into factory, which most likely will be followed up with something in, uh, like like a Hellion play. I can I can only imagine some type of Hellion play here. Want another queen in the main base as well? This one's gonna go here. I wanna build this thing. Cool. You're gonna chill over here. Yep, it is indeed Hellions. The Hellions should pop out in about two seconds from now. Just gonna send this Ling in. Just to make sure that we're okay. We're all alright. Hellions aren't quite out yet. At least not as far as I could see. want to send at least one worker into this gas though. Get one more little queen over here. This one, does it move downstairs? Does it stay in? Nah, it moves downstairs. I like the feeling of uh, moving stuff downstairs continuously. Going to sacrifice my life, not for ire, but um, for the swarm for once. We'll also actually kind of want to get a bunch of links out right now, because uh, some 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 wonky stuff can start to happen at this point already. So I need to be very careful against that. Need to be very very careful against some of that wonky stuff that can definitely happen here. Okay. Looks to me so far like um, this is just going to be a pretty standard, pretty standard opener out of my opponent. There's nothing here, so it's just going to be like a Hellion drop or like a Marine drop with a couple of Hellions at the same time moving in somewhere. Just need to be careful to not lose absolutely everything. Going to get a... Uh, oh, he's in the main base. I hope those are links or links. I hope these are Hellions and not Marines. Yep, there we go. That is good. That means there's no not going to be any marines over here. At least I can only imagine there's not going to be any marines over here. Oh, there is going to be some Hellions, though. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get slightly more of this. End up killing all of his cars as well. And he manages to run away, which honestly is not great for me. I'm already going to get a third base here, not because I think I can actually afford it, but because I was floating a little bit too much money. And if you're floating a bit too much money, you're either building extra bases or you're adding more queens into the mix usually. Ooh, this actually looks somewhat tricky here for me.
Oh, I'm losing a lot of crap right now. I'm not a huge fan of it. Surely he's going to lose this medevac though. Yep, that's good. Okay, so it's not the end of the world, honestly. Like, it sucks, but... Doesn't suck super hard. This Liberator also is going to fall. Won't even get my Queen, which is super nice. And we'll get one of these. I'm going to continue producing Queens here. Because once again, I have absolutely no clue what's happening. Am I getting too many gases? No, this seems about correct. You go here. One, two, three. You go in here. You guys go in here as well. Then whatever pops from here, we'll just take one extra gas, whatever. Should do the trick. Do I have... Uh, I don't even have a creep tumor in my main yet. So it's not the, the, the tightest game I've played in my entire life. I want to get a little bit of map vision as well right now. And we're definitely going to be getting that. Whoop. These bad boys go in here. And we start immediately building a, a bunch of extra workers. No! Misclick. And a pretty painful one at that. Not the type of misclick that I was looking for. Uh-oh. Got a lot of links right now. And I want to make sure that I have some type of vision on that top side. Oh, he's moving in. I have absolutely no clue what he's doing either, by the way. I just now realize, like... I'm not even quite sure if this is... I wasn't sure before this if it was mech or if it was bio. I mean, now I do know that it most likely is going to be uh, that bio. It would be very weird if this was mech from here on out. I feel like I should be getting a couple more spores here. One over here, one over here. This one should start moving more towards the edge at some point as well. I mean, I have a lot of money. I'm just lacking the bases, really. I'm just going to take a base here on the side. Ugh, supply block again soon. I'm going to start spreading my creep in this direction. I really do want this base. Going to run by with a bunch of idiots over here. You have a lot of crap, actually. You actually do have a lot of crap. I have to admit, I don't feel too bad about this entire game so far. Although I'm probably going to be losing this uh, fifth base for a second time. Not ideal. I'm just going to get an infestation pit to make sure I can continue producing. Maybe get a decent run by in. Come on. Lower. Lower. Nah, or don't. That was good for me. Killed a bunch of workers there with that one run by. That immediately is going to put a little bit of pressure on my opponent here. You guys go in here. Start targeting down everything immediately. And we start spreading creep a bunch as well. I want to send a lot of these links towards the top side ASAP. Because it's pretty important to me. I also want to get... Oh, no, 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 no. We're actually losing a crap ton of units here. Okay, well, we are going to end up getting this, which is good. A lot of transfusers going down right now. But not that many bane links anymore already. And I think that might just be the end of me. Ah! Got caught out of... Cut out of position here for a second. Oh, we had a bunch of banelings still just remaining. If only I had known that slightly earlier. Holy crap, that would have been important. Sadly, now I don't think it's going to matter anymore. He's still on 1-1 one, one as well. Well, nah, we're dead. wonder if we are actually winning. Seems like we were doing fine, at least worker-wise. Ah, sometimes F2-ing is kind of useful. Look at this fight here. So I clean him up, clean the tanks. Do lose a bit of supply. I'm still floating some money. I'm actually up in supply. If I had remembered that I had freaking 15 banings over here, I could have just sent those in. 
this was, I guess, a bit of an overreaction because he sent everyone everything to the bottom side. Yeah. I shouldn't have engaged into this, obviously. I just should have moved back a little. That's kind of stupid. He only has 60 workers. He absolutely has nothing. He is getting 2-2, same time as me, but I'm already on my way to Hive. My creep spread is slightly lacking, but... Unfortunate. Have to tap out. Lose that game. Only lose 10 MMR, and we almost boost him back up to 6k. So that's also a nice rim, you know? A little bit of uh, Robin Hood action over here. We... Well, actually, he takes from the poor and gives it to himself. That's no Robin Hood as well. It's the reverse Robin Hood he's playing on me. So not something that I entirely approve of, but for this one time I can live with it. Yeah, we'll open to game number two. Second game is going to be a ZVZ here. I have some fast hands for that Link Bane micro, hopefully. It's going to help out. Slightly lower MMR than I am. I think he's 5-3, my opponent. It was a barcode, right? Yeah, it was a barcode indeed. Okay. Now, the only problem I have in ZVZ is that I'm continuously getting all in by these people, and I have no clue how to beat any of the all in. So I just kind of go on instinct, but my instincts are, well, honestly, hot garbage. So very often I look at something and think to myself, I think I can just build five more drones and hold that, and then I die, or I think that pulling the workers is the correct move. Pulling the workers almost never is the correct move, except when it is the correct move, and then I leave the workers in the main base. Like, Early game ZVZ is a true hassle. But once we get into the mid game, I think I've pretty much figured out the game. I, I don't want to just spoil it here right now, but I pretty much have a, a consistent way of winning with the Mutalisk. So I do kind of want to spoil it. Um, if I get the Mutalisk out, I don't think I actually lose games. Except if the other person also plays Mutalisk or if they kill me before I have the Mutas out. But then I don't really have the Mutas out. So my statement stands strong. You know, once I get, okay, once I get more than eight Mutas out and the game is somewhat equal in eco, I don't actually lose games. The Mutalisk is the perfect unit. It flies, it's fast, it kills drones, it kills Overlord, it gives you map control, it allows you to build Banelings, and we know that Banelings are a unit that usually you want to be building. So yeah, I, I like the Mutalisk, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, you need the pooling gas here, so you get faster speed. Um, if someone doesn't do that, then you have faster speed than them, and that's usually a good thing as well. Uh, this bad boy is going to be rallied in towards my natural. No, you go in the main, you idiot. I hate it when I miss rallying my drones. That's the one thing I'm not very solid at yet. Yeah, something I'll, I'll be working on. Don't worry, my friends. Don't worry. Okay. I want to see if there's a, a hatchery over here, and if there is, I'm going to piss off straight away. And if there isn't, then, well, then probably dead, because I'm only building a single set of links. Oh, what do you have? Okay, yeah. We see creep. Very cool. We move this to the left. We keep this on the right. Pull one out of gas right away. We only need two links initially. We send them across the map. We need to figure out how many links my opponent sends out, though. It is somewhat important. So I'm going to try and uh, figure that out. Ooh, I don't want this base, actually. I want this, uh, this more, what you call it? The line base. That's what we call it here. Uh oh, no drones being sent out yet. No links are being sent out yet either, though. Weird start. Weird start for now. Double injects, like you always do in this matchup, I think. And then, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to move it down. Here, here I'm actually kind of lost. I don't actually know what the correct play is. Okay, this is two base. I shouldn't have built the, the Baling Nest against that, from what I recall. Let's see if he's actually getting speed or not. It's probably a good thing to check. No speeds being researched. So you could start it later, but no shot, right? Yeah, just going to cancel this. Oh, nice. I already had an Overlord on the way. Sometimes I'm not sure, and then I don't have one on the way. I'm going to actually get one more Ling. So yeah, I canceled my speed. Um, this way I can actually get a very... Can I kill this, you think? I think I can. Let's go! There it is. I want to get under it as far as possible. And then even send it into this direction. Pop! <laughs> Own it. <laughs> I love it when that happens. <laughs> that feels so ridiculously good. Let me tell you. That feels so ridiculously good. Let me tell you here. Um, oh, I just love it when this type of stupid crap happens. And I'm the one that benefits. Usually I always lose overlords to that type of uh, shenanigans. Now, it is possible that my opponent is playing a Nidus in my main base, and in that case, there will be nothing that I can do. Yes, you heard that correctly. There will be nothing that I can do. Literally nothing. 
I will just straight up die. I I don't have any I didn't I didn't put any safety measures in here. You go here, you go here, you go here. I built two two overlords at this point. Zero safety measures. We're going to start my roach production and make sure that I have plenty of overlords as well. So with my roach production, hopefully I can hold any push. And, well, if my opponent plays two base Mura, I don't actually know what the correct play is either, honestly. Against two base Mura, I don't think I've ever won yet. Um, that is a relatively good build to play against me. Just going to be building a bunch of roaches right now. How did he get here? What? Surely this is not the way. Oh, he's actually all me off of two gas. Oh, he's just dead. My opponent has nothing. Except plus one, I guess. Oh, he's with queens! What? No, I did not want to start. What? I got a dropper lord building there. It's just a hold, no? What a terrible build order. Wait. How? Oh, I, I thought for some reason that I had vision of that ramp. I guess I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what happened with my links? Surely I had some links as well in the front, no? These, oh, I sent them back home. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I think I knew in my in my head I had vision, but this build on this map is so terrible and probably also poorly executed. Floating six, seven hundred minerals surely isn't isn't correct. Almost no creep. <laughs> this doesn't work, does it? I don't think you can creep poop on this thing. Look, it's not even spreading. That seems pretty bugged, honestly. <laughs> nice try. Good stuff. All right, that was a pretty solid hold. And we get a 10 points back. We get 15 points back. So we're higher than where we started. My goal is to eventually be top 100 with this race. Now, that is still a solid 180 MMR away. But I think my speed currently is good. I'm just lacking a little bit in the brain department. Um, so in order to combat that, I've been doing a lot of IQ tests. And slowly but surely, I've been improving. I do have to add into that, though, that I've been doing the same IQ test again and again. And I started with a score of 98, and I'm currently already up to 105. Uh, but I think I'm planning on doing it once or twice more today. I think tonight I can probably have pretty consistently 110 IQ, maybe 112. So, yeah, the higher my IQ will be, I think the more likely I'm about to start winning these EVCs as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I could be wrong, but I believe this was a 6.4k Protoss player. That is literally the same MMR as I am. That would not be good. It's, um, CVP is not one of my weaker matchups, but... Um, that's still a solid 1000 MMR above me right now. And it's quite tricky to kill people in this matchup uh, after the Queen nerf. Given this is also uh, 2k atmosphere. It also could have been 5.4k. I didn't quite exactly see it. I tapped back in slightly too late. And well, it might actually hurt me a little bit here. Look at that hatchery straight away on my natural. Which is helpful, hopefully. Okay, we didn't get blocked. That actually is good. Uh, my drones are a mess, though. What's going on over there? Oh, drone will get rallied straight away into my extractor. And then the next drone will be rallied over here. So, this is kind of your standard setup that everyone plays. It is a Protoss, right? Yeah, okay, it is a Protoss. Good. I didn't mess that up. This is a gateway scout. So, fairly standard. Uh, good timing as well. Sometimes people, they hit like five seconds later. And then I'm always a bit afraid of it being um, something like a... Uh, Something like a cannon rush, you know? Well, he's not blocking my... He's, he's not uh, harassing my workers like a 6.4k. So maybe I just was incorrect. Maybe this actually is a 5.4k. To be fair, I'm pretty good at making sure that my units continue mining as well. So yeah, I'll, I'll just say that for now. Where did he go? Okay, he went downstairs. I'm going to check exactly what's going on here. Going back... Why did he go down? That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Going down there is like he can't do anything down at this point. It's not even a good fake for a cannon rush anymore either. Like it's just a fake for nothing at this point. And if you're not faking anything, then you might as well not do it because like what are you faking for really? Okay, that was some good harassment. Okay, maybe this player isn't so bad at it. Okay. We'll have to see if there's going to be straight away warp gate. Doesn't seem to be the case. That's interesting. 
uh, most likely going to be uh, Stargate because of that. We also have no Chrono Boost on that first Adept, which would indicate that we are currently playing against a, um, a, a fairly passive early game here out of my opponent. Slightly too late with my hatchery. I'm always slightly too late with my hatchery, by the way. That is quite common. I'm just going to be moving back home. I can't be bothered, honestly. Okay, you are going down here as well. God, my Overlord spread has been absolutely phenomenal again so far this game. <laughs> just have both of my Overlords in my natural. It's not actually good. It's actually not that good. It's not good at all. Um... I'm just going to be chilling over here and see if we can do anything. I want to get my my inject off ASAP as well. The moment I can. That's a fairly fast second gate. Uh, surely that is before the third pylon. It's not getting a fourth unit. Or a fourth unit. It's not getting a third unit, which makes, quite frankly, a lot of sense. Uh, with the way that my opponent... Uh, has been getting that gateway. Yeah, okay. So that gateway was before the third pylon for sure. Uh, he can't... He, that, that shade can't finish. It's, well, it's possible, but... Extremely unlikely. Just super, super unlikely, honestly. Actually super unlikely. I do want to move back here. A little bit. Okay, so this is uh, Oracle first. I'm too late with this... Uh, with this queen in the main base, am I not? I think I'm also too late with my... Oh my god, I'm also too late with my... Spore. Just a little bit, though. I think I messed something up, but I'm not quite sure what. I mean, it seems to have worked out at least in the end. So, <laughs> maybe not the end of the world. Um, I'm going to check exactly what my opponent is up to. Okay, Forge Twilight. Um... That is somewhat interesting. I think I want to get a... Uh, I completely messed this up, by the way, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, you're not going to get in there. Trust me on that, buddy. These are my strongest bases. My weakest base currently is my natural. And that's going to remain my weakest base for a very long time. Oh my god! I did not see that move. I did not see that move whatsoever. That was very big. Oh, that sucks, actually. That actually does suck. So we'll get this thing going. Good movement out of my opponent, I have to admit. Get two extra in here. Get three drones into this space. Get more drones into this location as well. I wasn't paying attention to the minima for a little bit, and that actually ended up costing me big time, I have to say. I want to get all of my uh, my queens to the front right now, except for this one. Yeah, this seems fine actually. Yeah, this is what we're gonna be doing. Get two more of these. I actually, also probably should have gotten that a little bit faster, honestly. Slightly faster bailing nest. So he's trying to deny a little bit of mining here, or a little bit of mining, a little bit of creep. Where's all my extra workers at right now? Okay, we see a robo as well as extra gas is being taken. Somewhat suspicious. We don't quite have gas in the correct uh, spot yet. Now, because I see the extra gas, I can actually go slightly higher worker count here. Ugh. I hate it when people are good at denying creep against me. I do not like that whatsoever. And we're going to actually do a little bit of a timing attack here. The problem with this timing attack is just going to be... Um, that is not going to be very good. And it most likely isn't going to work. Oh my god, what is that? That's a big attack. That's a very big attack. And I'm supply blocked as well. I'm really supply blocked right now. Which makes life way harder for me than it ever should have been. Hello? He, he sniped it in the last second. That actually felt pretty bad for me. Oh my god, I thought I had way more overlords on the way. I only built one? I said I've been supply lock for like five minutes now already. And I only end up building one. 
Why don't I still have this? Oh my god. Uh, this is gonna go nowhere. This is actually gonna go nowhere. Oh my god, I have like no units. Just losing everything as well. I'm not even sure if my opponent is necessarily better than me, but... So far I am losing. That was the sickest supply lock I've seen in my entire life, I have to admit. That was legitimately supply lock for like, what was it, 10 seconds there? No, for like a minute, not 10 seconds. 10 seconds isn't that bad. So at this point I'm not even sure if I'm losing because I just got supply block for 5 years or because he is playing such a brilliant build. Brilliant little build. Oh, to be fair, I do like this build. Um, I wonder if there's a, a fort base uh, included here or not. I'm gonna get a couple of extra Ravagers. Ravagers are always a very uh, good way to try and stay alive. Because the Ravager just deals with crap well. Like. I can kind of zone stuff out. I want more roaches, that's for sure. Oh my god, I can't do anything here. Absolutely can't do anything here. I think this might be Rainer's Protoss, actually. If this is a 6.4, Rainer's been playing a crap ton of toss. And as a result, also been winning a fair amount. He's definitely a better toss than I am a Zerg. To be fair, he's also a better Zerg than I'm a toss. So, it really, um, he wins both ways. I like the way he plays this, though. Um, so, we are getting into... It's kind of a... Well, I don't want to say a late-game scenario, but a, at least a somewhat longer game. I do want to get these watchtowers. Oh, my God. He just stays around at all times, huh? I'm going to try and max out on this army and then hopefully win. I'll actually message Rainer after this to see if it was him. Oh my god, what is this? That was awful. He tried to storm drop me. That did not work. <laughs> okay, it's definitely Rainer. Are you gonna... Is he playing double forge as well? I know Rainer loves his double forge. Holy crap. This is not a good engagement, I think, for him. He's still gonna win, don't get me wrong, but... <clears throat> no, I think we're dead. Oh, there are 88 workers, double forge. Oh yeah, this is super Rainer. This definitely was Rainer. What does he play here in the early game? No Chronos whatsoever. Gateway before the pylon. I hate to see it. Then gets the Robo at the third. Stays on four gate. Goes up to six gas. Like, I should be capable of getting a very, very high uh, worker count here. And then still defend. And that's kind of what I did. I went up to 80. And then I probably still should have been capable of defending. However, because I sucked, that wasn't the case. Like this supply block at 128. Here I thought I was building 5 overlords. But I was building 1. Like if I can actually just build units right now, life is completely fine. And then I also lose another overlord. So I'm supply block for a legit minute here. While I'm under attack. I'm floating 15 under minerals. Okay, that actually was kind of painful. No good luck, have fun though. Uh, it is 6.4. I think it was 6.4. Okay, it's... I can just check. See, it's a sick match history. Um, yeah, this seems like it's. Yeah, probably him. I'll be sure to, to ask him as well. And, uh, and I'll tell you guys all about it in the next game. All right, this time we get a 5k Protoss player. I asked Rainer, and it indeed was him. I explained him the exact reasons why I lost. I was like, I got supply block for too long. He completely ignored me and just started talking about something else. Because he knew that no matter what would have happened in that mid game, he probably still would have won. He really is so fast. It's crazy. He sends me a bunch of replays as well as off race. If, 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 if any of you uh, guys and gals would like to see that, then I can probably just go over some of them for fun and just have a, a little analysis. Maybe I'll get him on as well if, if any of you are interested in that, of course. But it's, it's really fun to see someone that is theoretically a little bit clueless it's just ridiculously fast like Rainer I think legitimately has the best mechanics or one of the best mechanics in the world and uh, he, is, he practically functions as a bit of a sponge as well like you give him some information and he's almost instantly capable of implementing that as well 
and he's very receptive to feedback so it's just it's just crazy like it's just it's, it's like this 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 block of clay that is very easy to you know to make it into what you want so if you have a good clay maker then you know you're gonna get a nice clay work of art i really sucked at arts and crafts when i was in uh in high school i actually got graded on a curve because i was such an idiot but i did try my best which is why i got graded graded on a curve i'm just physically i know this is gonna sound like an excuse but i was physically incapable of doing art it also makes me feel bad it was the same with with handwriting like i could try very hard to get a pretty sentence out there but it takes an extremely long time and it's also still not it still doesn't look good no matter how hard i tried practicing my handwriting i absolutely hate it i had the same with with arts and craft i just for the life of me i couldn't draw like i'd be studying the technique you know and i'd be doing the all the practice work to make sure that you know i was doing the techniques correctly and eventually i'd get something resembling the technique but i could only copy the example like i couldn't for whatever reason i was very bad at getting the concepts and then just using the concepts what i could do is pretty much mentally trace the examples and then do it like that so i always got graded on a curve because i was a little bit of an idiot um yeah when it came to that <clears throat> i can't recall how i got here ah clay more than clay right yeah i don't think we yeah we once did something with clay i think with, with in our in our arts and craft did not like that either but you did get your hands dirty which was more fun to me than using pen and paper at least you know getting your hands dirty oh my god he should have finished that you 100 percent should have finished that oh my god he should have finished that Ooh, that should have been a finish i accidentally did that that was not a something that i did on purpose the what you call it <laughs> the creep tumor <laughs> i just was i got too excited i got a little bit over eager there absolutely the best I have not been scouting whatsoever. That is such a fast third gas, though. Feels like a fleet beacon rush to me. Oh, what is this? Oh, my lord. Um, that feels absolutely not okay. You know that? That absolutely does feel not okay. It's a Phoenix. I think it's double Stargate Phoenix then, no? It's definitely going to be double Stargate Phoenix. No way, he finishes. Yeah, no shot. Absolutely no shot. Um, I do need to pull these back right now, though, because, well, let's face it. Nothing going on. Uh, do I need one more of these? Why do I have so much gas mining already? I don't quite understand why I have that. I think I can clear. Next time they move forward, I'm going to go clear them. I'm going to need to continue uh, scouting to make sure that there's no plus one on the way or something like that. Holy crap. I'm accidentally rallying everything into my natural. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good. Ooh. No shot, dude. No shot. Okay, it's not researching at least. Sentry? Okay, I'm kind of at a loss right now as to what's happening um wait why are all of these going to the wrong base that's not super what i intended here <sighs> i got a I got a little thing over here I got a lot of these as well so we have the, the gases all saturated in all bases at this point. Just need to still build gases over here. I just don't quite understand what my opponent is doing here. I just really don't understand actually what my opponent is doing here. Do I have a... No, I don't quite have a layer yet. You know it wouldn't completely surprise me? If this is... Wait. Is this like a glaive adept attack? Double Robo. Okay, it's definitely not going to be a Glaive Adept attack. I'm almost tempted to throw down a Spire here, you know that? The reason for that is fairly simple as well. Um, because Double Robo is not great against air units. 
you're investing a lot of money in things that don't shoot up. Either Colossi or something else that doesn't sh shoot up. Why do I have so much money, by the way? I guess I should be building more queens, but I literally haven't built any units at all. Are these real? Oh my god, they're real. So it was double Stargate Phoenix. I completely forgot about the fact that my opponent was doing something a little bit funky here. Um, okay, maybe I can at least take something out. Yeah. I hope that doesn't work. This is not even the end of the world, you know that? First of all, because the end of the world would look very different. Um, but also because the situation actually isn't that bad. I thought I had more drones on the way already. I'm somewhat disappointed in myself. I'm going to need to get a crap ton of overlords. Okay, he'll never attack me. Like, oh, maybe with some adapts, I guess. What's that queen doing there? Not in the right position. I'm super supply block again, by the way. You see that? Bunch of random dudes over here. Adapts. Actually, maybe adapts are female. I can't remember in the lore. Whoop! Wasn't super pretty. Oh, actually didn't cancel? What? Surely a mistake. Surely a mistake. I'm going to get a bunch of these corruptors as well. This is an annoying strategy to play against. I, d I don't actually know what the correct play is completely. I should have probably gotten slightly faster crap. Slightly faster corruptors. Good lord. I'm just lacking everything right now. Oh no, come on, leave me alone. I lost a ton of units here. Just a ton of units. We're going to move behind my opponent's base as well. Which should be kind of exciting. <sighs> also going to get an infestation pit, honestly. Like... What is the follow-up though is the question now, right? I don't actually know what the follow-up could be. Got a couple of Ravagers down. Couple of Ravagers. Get another Queen going as well at the same time. This is not really an all-in anymore. I wanted to all-in, but... Maybe we should just do some investigating. To see what's going on over here, you know? Just a little bit of investigation. Investigation. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I feel like we've investigated fairly well over here. Oh, you guys go back. Well, the nice thing here is that at least we know what we're up against. It's pure immortal. The bad news is, is that we don't really have a good unit composition against the pure immortal. Well, maybe if we get the links around, actually. Oh, hit! No, they didn't hit. This doesn't look too bad, huh? Second one of these. We have a crap ton of money as well, which is kind of helpful. We're just going to keep peeing on buildings, I think. Death by urinating. That's the type of death you do not want as a Protoss player. I can assure you that. I wish I could get some uh, banelings out already. I thought I built a baneling nest. Yeah, baneling nest takes a long time to build, though. One of these buildings just takes a long time. Okay, I took out three buildings by peeing on them already. So that's good. Oh, oh maybe we can get a surround. I'm not so sure what a surround actually does for us. Maybe we want to actually take out that prism, though. That would definitely do something for us. So just want to micro back and throw a couple of biles, you know? Make sure that we take out the, the Archons. If we take out the Archons, eventually our links will just win the game. And even without it, honestly, we're just going to win. 
Yeah, no Archons, which means that these links are going to absolutely destroy. No matter what is GG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very clean game, despite us losing 30 workers or so. We lost 21 workers, and I don't even want to know how many Overlords I lost, but a crap ton as well. Painful start with, with good ending, peeing on all of, his, all of his next time. So that was good. That's going to be it for me as well. Thanks all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this episode of Harstam Starion Adventure. We'll do some more in the future. I'll get Rainer on the show as well uh, to help me out a little bit. So uh, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thank you and bye-bye.